good evening folks welcome to another round of capital mind videos we're just going to do a little bit of excel today we're going to talk about rolling returns now rolling returns is the concept of saying give me what a particular stock has done over a one year period except give me the rolling one year returns so tell me what the rolling one year returns was over a period of time so that means i'm going to take today i'm going to say the price of hdfc is which is a stock i chose is a certain value what was it exactly one year ago 21st august 2014 what's the price difference in terms of percentages that's the data point maybe i get something like 15.5 percent and then yesterday uh, the price on august 20 2015 versus august 20 2014 what was that price difference that's a one year return i've got today's return i've got yesterday's one year return i've got the same thing for the last few days i can then plot a graph of how these one year returns have changed over time why one year because after one year you get to pay no capital gains taxes in india so people tend to hold for that period let's see what our one year returns have been like for hdfc which has been a blindingly fast moving stock in the last uh, five years i've got data from 2009 i'm going to quickly do this on excel so let's say what date was it one year back one of the simplest ways to do that is to use a date formula in excel where i'm just going to subtract one from the date that we uh, uh, want to uh, uh, highlight and the same month of that date and the same day of that date which will give us a date that's exactly one year ago and then if you want to see the price differences obviously we start from june 2009 the first time we can get a one year data point is first june 2010 so i'm going to scroll down till i get to first june 2010 which is uh, just a little bit away and we will then use this and of another formula called v lookup now we look up just says give me a vertical lookup of a certain date so i'm going to look at this date i want to find it in the last x number of days and for the purpose of calculation i'm just going to put a dollar so that we we hook uh, uh, or anchor the first date and then we've got something called the num the this column and the column here is a simple thing it's a c and i here i've hidden some cells in the middle so between c and i i i, I would be the seventh uh, column i'm just going to do a v look up here it shows me 460.55 which is true i'm going to go right up to the top now and i'll show you that 460.55 was this number so we uh, have a number here and now we're going to use the difference in calculation so we're going to say this price in this one year period has moved up by how much and if we do that we get 17.55 percent that's a great first data point and now i'm going to move this and settle this across so we see that this data point has moved from 17 21 30 30 and so on how do you look at this more visually let's just go and create a chart out of it which is a simple proposition we still have to do a little bit of uh, niceness to make it make sure that we uh, can make it uh, look slightly more decent than this we'll just select the data so that uh, we are not exactly you know plotting something that looks peculiar like numbers and at this point we've got a fantastic graph that looks like this it shows you a one year return we have seen it in 2010 go up to 40 percent fall because you know hdfc and the whole market fell in uh, 2011 uh, rose back up and then again 2012 december or so there was uh, a bit of a, a spike downwards and then back up until june 2013 big dollar devaluation a lot of fis exiting india through 2013 you saw returns go back negative for a while and then from june 2014 to june 2015 you've seen a fantastic run it's gone up to 70 percent come back now uh, you know this is hdfc's rolling return so i'm going to just say uh, rolling one year returns uh, that that forms a good uh, graph now we got to compare this with the price because this is a great point of a one year return but we also need a price at the same time so i'm going to just take the price graph and and draw it separately so the same thing that we go do but just show it as a price graph and this time let's beautify the axis so that it's not looking so bad 500 and 1400 
will give us a fairly good range same thing one on top of the other looks much better and all we have to do now is to change the database so that we can use the same row dates for the same range and we should just now eliminate the dates and we will be at a much better point in terms of visual analysis of HDFC's one year return. So now you can see how the stock seems to have moved up quite a bit. Look at the amount the one year return has fallen. We have seen a tremendous change between this and this. And this picture is completely different from what this one tells you. It also tells you that a thousand, thousand rupees and a falling one year return, HDFC is going into a large amount of distribution. It needs to break out of this range before it's going to show that momentum again. It's the biggest stock in the Nifty. So unless it does it, it's not going to move. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked this. Uh, ask us questions, Slack group if you're a premium member uh, on this video or on email at premium at capitalmind.in or um, uh, connect to us at Twitter. I'm at Deepak Shinoi. We're at capitalmind.in. So uh, look, forward, look forward to hearing from you.